welcome back. So today we are taking you down to our barn. We need to prepare the inside because we have lambing and kidding coming up soon. We also have a structural issue inside the barn. So we got to get a post installed for that and uh, that's it. Yeah, we've got some work to do. So let's head inside. Yep, let's go. All right, pardon the panting guys. It's a dog <laughs> Chuck, it's not Aaron. So looking back at our structural issue, you see the beam going across here, it's a makeshift beam going across as a nasty sag in it. There's actually a second level with a crow's nest up top. We have a few things in storage and the way they built it and have all that wood up there, it's not ready for the way. That's why it's a nasty sag. So we're gonna go ahead and take a uh, six by six uh, post and uh, wedge it on in there and push it up and uh, keep that thing from sagging anymore. Are you hot, Chucky? this, turn it back, and lean it in and start going up this way like that. Okay. Right. okay I can work. push it up and you need to be there to help guide it because once it gets up there, I'm going to need help. Where? Once it gets up to there, I'm going to need help. I'm not going to know exactly how we're, we're going to walk it in together, right? Yeah, I mean, just pick it up. You got it? Yeah. There you go, girl. Come on. That's it. So That's right. right. It. Put your back into it. Yes. Are you ready? You hold the bottom so that it's twisted on me right, a little bit. Let's go. Come on, push on up. Come on. There you go. I like it. I like it. Come on. Get a longer board to go across it. So you can hit it in? I can put it right there and get it. Because right now I won't put it there. Okay. Put it down. Uh, so that two by eight we installed it there. It's not going to work. We actually need to be probably about three or four feet. Um, the issue we're having is when I put the bottom of that post down and turning it up, it's hitting the side of the two by eight. I need to extend it longer. So I'm going on the bottom of it and I'm going to start hitting it with the hammer and getting it like that and working it in. The plan is to raise that, that makeshift beam they got there, raise it up two more inches. shorter and then jack it up. Try number four. Alright, so we got the post in. It wasn't ideal the way it worked out. We jacked it up with the uh, truck jack and another post. I couldn't get it to go, go up to two inches. We got to go up maybe about an inch maybe. And uh, that's it. I mean, we'll secure it. But with all that weight and pressure on top of that post, that thing ain't gonna move. Okay, so this is the opposite end of the barn behind mm -hmm. us. And this is where we keep all of our livestock supplies. The feeders and where we're also going to be building some pens for our mama goats and sheep that are getting ready to have babies here soon. Yes, yeah, so we're making some temporary stalls real quick. So we have hog panels laying around and we got some temporary posts we're gonna go ahead and install. It should be a very quick and easy task doing this. It's all temporary setup. Yes. Um, this is actually was built as a hay barn. Mm -hmm. It's gonna go back to being a hay barn eventually once we get our livestock barn built up closer up the hill that way. Yeah, so we, we want this to just be temporary, something that we can take down and, mm -hmm. and not be 
permanent. So, yep. all right, let's go. Let's go. Bruce is, Bruce is inspecting. What do you think, Bruce? We're doing the barn anyways, dude. Come here. Come here. Oh, yeah. Bruce, this isn't your spot, dude. It's not your home. Your home's out in the grass. Dick, but I see corn by your boots. We don't feed you corn, we feed you grass. <laughs> All right, so these temporary stalls are done. We're probably gonna leave them that way until we get the other barn built. So it might be a temporary stall for the next two seasons, possibly. That's yeah. what we're probably thinking, right? Yeah. So what else we got going on? Got the structural issue fixed, so yep. I feel much better about being in the barn and having the kids in the barn with me. Um, it's been a concern of mine safety-wise for a while now. So I feel really good to have both of those knocked off the list and be prepared that was for- a pain. That was a pain too. What was? The, putting the post up. Yeah, yeah, it didn't go as well as we had planned. I had a four pound hammer beating it in. I needed a 10 pound hammer 
to beat it in. Mm -hmm. We got it up, I don't know, three quarters of an inch probably. It's still a little bit of sag, but it's not gonna go anywhere at that post there, so it's fine. Yeah, yeah. What do you think? Yeah, it solves, solves the problem for now. It'll be nice once we can revert this back to the hay barn yes. that it was meant to be and actually get a proper barn built for the livestock. So the stalls that the lambs and the goats are gonna be in right now is just gonna be deep bedded. Mm -hmm. um, we're not putting any mats down or anything like that. Um, I've put them in previously and they've done fine because they're in there for such a short period of time. Yeah. We don't keep the animals in there. They're only in there when they're actually like having babies and for a short time after that. So as long as I'm cleaning that out regularly, it's not a big deal. Yeah. So I guess that's it. You yep. might be wondering about the Eggmobile. That has been sitting. We haven't made any progress on it. It took a back seat to um, the solar shed. The water. The water. The house, everything. Just took a back seat. Yeah, I had homeschool gearing up for that. So we've been getting in the whole flow of that. And then also just preparing for the babies that are getting ready to arrive here. So now that all that is taken care of, I think we're gonna get back on track. Josh can help me get that last wall up yep. and then it'll be game on for me to finish it up. Can't wait. Yeah, so that's it. Thanks so much for watching guys. I think uh, next time we will have another build video. House build, not farm build. <laughs> yeah, inside house build. Yes. And a big surprise? Yes. <laughs> it's coming. All right guys, thanks for watching. See you next time. Yep, see ya.